The Port St. Joe community is mourning the loss of one high school football star after he collapsed during the Sharks game on Friday night. News 13's Kaylee Tinglestad is live in studio with more on the tragic incident. Port St. Joe high school senior Chance Gaynor embodied what the Tiger Sharks football program is all about. A remarkable athlete, tough, humble, and above all, a great young man who cared for his teammates. Friday night, the unthinkable happened. Gaynor collapsed and ultimately died while playing the game he loved. On Friday, September 6th, Port St. Joe was on the road playing the Liberty County football team. With just about four minutes remaining in the second quarter, Gaynor suddenly collapsed. From there, he was transported to the Calhoun Liberty Hospital, where he was pronounced dead. Every day you walk in that locker room, you're going to look at the locker, and it's going to be empty. And, you know, you can go back and watch game film, and, you know, for however long it's for years and years and years. In his junior year, Gaynor emerged as the Sharks' star player, a breakout season that followed a couple years of honing his raw potential and fiery personality. We went from those games of not knowing Chance going to get another 15-yarder. Is he going to, you know, say something? Is he going to celebrate too much? Because, he's again, he was feisty. The summer before the 2023 football season, tragedy struck Port St. Joe when two of Gaynor's teammates and lifelong friends, TJ Jenkins and Andrew Shepard, passed away in a car accident. Gaynor dedicated his junior season to his best friends, and from there, the rest is history. About week four or five last year, you kind of saw, saw it click with him, and he realized, hey, I'm pretty good at this game. And, I can make things happen and, you know, I can determine the outcome of games. He emerged as a jack of all trades, scoring in every way, offensively, defensively, and on special teams. This would be one of them guys where you watch film and you pull it up and you go, man, that's, that's Chance Gaynor. You know, that was Chance. He, he could throw, he could run, he could jump, you know, punt returns, kick returns, didn't matter. Uh, Halfback passes, probably had three or four touchdown passes last year doing it. While it was almost a guarantee that if Gaynor had the ball, the Sharks would manage to score, but he wanted to make sure all of his teammates had enough touches to fill their highlight reel. But he would always be ready when his talents were needed. What he would do is he'd come stand by me. He wouldn't say a word. He'd just stand by me. And, you know, that was, or he'd look at me if he was on the field. He'd just kind of stare at me. And I knew that was his way of saying, Give me the ball, but he would never, he wasn't, you know, boastful about any of it. He would just kind of go, hey, I'm here if you need me. Let me know when you want me to make something happen. Some of the words used to describe Chance are genuine and quiet, a soft-spoken individual, but the ultimate senior leader for his team. The younger kids got to see, you know, leaders aren't always vocal. Sometimes it's, it's by actions and Chance is that guy by actions. And because of who he was and what he did in the classroom on Friday nights or even on the basketball court, the Port St. Joe community is mourning yet another loss of a rising star. <laughs> resilient, resilient group of kids with resilient parents living in a resilient community because they have been through some some stuff in the recent years and they stick together and I mean I don't know what I don't know what words to use because I'm amazed every day that what this community is capable of doing. Gainer's impact reaches beyond the three mile Gulf front stretch of Port St. Joe. He's remembered by the entire panhandle and state of Florida. The ultimate teammate, friend, son, brother, and tiger shark who spent his final moments wearing purple and gold. Chance on me, chance on three. One, two, three, chance. Port St. Joe schools will return on Monday with grief counselors for students to visit with. Tuesday will be a half day and lunch will be provided to the football team. Gulf County Superintendent Jim Norton is inviting other teams from around the area to join in brotherhood. The Tiger Sharks game on Friday night against Bluntstown has been postponed and head coach Tanner Jones is letting his team decide what the remainder of this season will look like and if they wish to continue playing.